Okay, um, this video is part two regarding the Taylor series and the binomial expansion expression. Uh, incidentally, if you can go to the website, all the web, all of the uh, videos that we have featured regarding permutation, combination problems, and uh, probability problems, um, you can find all the videos in their uh, proper sequence at the uh, website digital-university.org. If you found us on YouTube um, and you're wondering what is part one or how do these relate to other videos that were posted, they might be just kind of shotgunned all over the place, but if you can get to the website, all the videos are there in their proper sequence. And what we're doing is that we've spent the first 12 or 15 videos um, looking at permutations and combinations and doing different types of counting problems and handling different types of permutations and combination problems. And then we kind of uh, switched our uh, focus and we're dealing with the binomial expansion theorem and now as it relates to the Taylor expansion series. And the reason for it is that this background here will help us to develop ordinary and exponential generating functions. And those are very powerful tools now to help solve some of the more complicated um, combination and permutation problems that we're going to start to deal with. OK. Uh, and part two here then of our video on Taylor series and the binomial expansion, uh, we determined in the last video that if a particular function can be expressed as a power series, it's going to take on this expression here, where this is just the function evaluated when x is 0. This is the first derivative of the function when x is equal to 0. That's the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x squared is the second derivative of the function evaluated at 0 divided by 2 factorial. And then this pattern continues on out to infinity. x cubed will be multiplied by the third derivative of the function evaluated at 0 divided by 3 factorial and so forth. What we want to do now is Suppose we have, suppose f of x equals a plus x to the n. If now then we try to e express this in terms of a power series expression, what kind of a, um, what kind of a form would we get? Well, first of all, the first term is when f is the function is evaluated when x is 0. Well, if x is 0, this is just a to the n. So f of 0 so we have that. Now we have to take the first derivative of the function so we can get this term. So f prime of x that's going to be equal to n times a plus x to the n minus 1 power. Now what would that be equal to when x is 0? Just a to the n minus 1. So f prime of 0 is equal to n times a to the n minus 1. So that is what this coefficient is. Now what would that coefficient be? Here we have then we have to take the second derivative. And that will equal n times n minus 1 times a plus x to the n minus 2. So now we evaluate this when x is 0. This is just a to the n minus 2 power. 
So this is equal to n times n minus 1 times a to the n minus 2. And now for this term, let's just go through one more here. Then the third derivative of the function That is equal to n times n minus 1 times this exponent times a plus x to the n minus 3 power. So now we have to evaluate that, that third derivative, when x equals 0. And that's just going to be a to the n minus 3. x is now 0. So that's n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times a to the n minus 3 power. Now, notice that here, this is raised to the nth power here. We have an exponent of n. What happens when we take the nth derivative then. So let's just say we're going to continue on along doing what we've been doing and finally now we're going to take the nth derivative of our function. And this is the function here. What would we expect the nth derivative to look like? Well, we know it's going to be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, and supposedly it continues along, but where does it stop? Well, let's look at, our, at what we did up here. Here we were taking the third derivative, and our last term was n minus 2. Here we're taking the second derivative, our last term is n minus 1. So you'll find if you keep taking the derivatives, this number here is one less than this number here, the derivative that we're taking. Here this is the third derivative, this is n minus 2. Here this is the nth derivative, so this is going to continue along until we have n minus n minus 1. That will be the last term. Times a plus x. to the n minus what? Well here we're taking the third derivative, it's n minus 3. Here we're taking the second derivative, it's n minus 2. Here we're taking the first derivative, it's n minus 1. Now we're taking the nth derivative, it's n minus n. So here this is just a plus x to the 0 power, so this is just 1. Now notice here that Previously, here we had these terms here, and we are evaluating it when x was equal to 0. Well, here now for this, this is now just 1, so there is no x left in here. So the nth derivative of f of x, it's also going to equal the nth derivative when f when x is 0. It won't affect it because there's, there's no x left in the expression here. Now here we have this term, n minus n minus 1. Well, n minus n, that's 0. This is negative 1, negative negative 1. That's plus 1. So the last term is 1. So the nth derivative of f of x, where f of x is this function here, that is equal to n times n minus 1, times n minus 2, times n minus 3, and they keep decreasing by 1 until we reach the value of 1. So in other words, the nth derivative is just n factorial. That is, when f of x 
is equal to that function right there. Since there's no x here, we can say that that is still just n factorial. So let's look at what we have, what we've accomplished. We know what this is. And we explicitly derived what this is. And here, likewise here and here. So what we have to do now is take those values and plug them into this formula. And then that will give us what this function here would be expressed in a Taylor series expansion. And that's what we'll do in the next video. We'll kind of pick up the pieces and put them all together and see what kind of an expression we get. So come back, join us for that video, and we'll continue on.